Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are here at the Lego Ninjago Temple of Air Jitsu. The Lego Friends girls have been wandering around for a while. They've been exploring. This is an entirely new environment for them, but they're going to need to make themselves comfortable because today we're going to open up the complete set of 20 Lego Ninjago movie minifigures. This is a brand new series and they're all based around the movie and the Ninjago characters, of course. So here's the first one. Let's see. We've got a pair of white pants. We've got... Uh, oh look, that's Master Wu's <laughs> little patch. <laughs> that, that's for, for his dojo, I suppose. A very determined girl face. This is Naya, and she's got a brand new hairdo for this movie. And that means we get a brand new hair mold, which is very, very cool. It looks very spectacular. She's got two of these training wooden katanas, and she certainly knows how to use them. So let's put them in her hand. So she is Spinjitsu Training Naya. That is her official description. And I think it suits her absolutely perfectly. She's ready. Now, I'm so sorry, Naya, but I've just got to try this hair on Emma because it looks fantastic. Check that out. And I don't think Emma's hair looks very good on Naya. We're also going to borrow, we're going to borrow these katanas as well. Uh, Emma does actually know how to use these. She's demonstrated that before in the Lego Friends series. So she won't be a danger with these in her hands. But she looks great with them like that. But Naya, well, she doesn't look determined anymore. She looks outright cross. So we might put all these things back on, Naya. There we go. And we might move Emma over. And we might open up the next minifigure. So that's cool. We've got Naya. Now we've got a pair of white pants. And look at that cute little pullover, that little vest. And a camping backpack. <laughs> this is such a cute outfit. Oh, it's Zane. Oh, look, look, with a, with a really short buzz cut white hair up the back and his green robot eyes. And he's got a very short little hairdo there, which is just right. That looks really good. I, I wonder what he's doing with the backpack and the pullover. <laughs> I can't wait for the movie. But we are going to try this hair on Stephanie. I don't think it's going to suit her very much. I think it's going to be way too short. But <laughs> it's a cool new hair piece for me to have in my collection. I oh, will put it back on Zane. <laughs> he's so happy. All right. Cool. All right, so we've got Robot Zane in his backpacking outfit. <laughs> and now we've got some blue legs with volcanoes on them, a double torso. This is one of the Garmadons. There are three different incarnations of Garmadon in this set. And this is him in his pajamas, in his volcano pajamas. And he still wears his, his fierce looking helmet in, into bed. And he comes with this brand new soup bowl or noodle bowl and this spoon in a pearly color, which is also new. So I love this. He's obviously ducked out for a midnight snack of noodles <laughs> or soup. And we're going to try his helmet on Mia, I think. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work so much. Actually, it looks pretty good. I think it makes her look very anime. Actually, I've had a great idea. We might, I've got a great idea, but I'm not going to do it yet. We'll do it later. Oh, that's so cool. All right. So we've got Volcano Garmadon in his <laughs> volcano pajamas. Now, who have we got? Very nice uh, flash of color there and a brand new scarf neck piece. Freckles and what is that expression? He, looks kind of sheepish. Oh, check out that hair piece. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, oh, this is Jay. This is Jay the Blue Ninja and he's in civilian clothing and he comes with, huh? That's his iPhone or his device. Uh, and he's got a selfie stick. So maybe that's why he's looking so sheepish because I would too if I was holding a selfie stick. That's hilarious. What is he going to use the selfie stick for? Let's see if I can even get it set up so that it functions the way a selfie stick is supposed to so he can take a picture of himself from a bit of a distance. Oh, Olivia would like to be in this picture too. Well, what are we doing? I thought we were setting this up. No, it looks like Andrea is going to come and take a picture of Olivia with Jay. Yeah, that didn't work actually. It's just Jay there. It must be magic. <laughs> so we can hold it like this and he can take a picture and Olivia's over his shoulder, photobombing his photo, but she didn't turn up in the photo. Ooh, that's very creepy. <laughs> there, all right. So Jay with his selfie stick. <laughs> that's really, these are such humorous minifigures. I love it. All of the, uh, oh, everyone wants to be in the picture. All right, everyone crowd in. Get it closer. It didn't work. It just took a picture of Jay. That's it. That's all it does. The camera must be malfunctioning. Now he's trying to take a picture. Oh, look, you cannot just climb all over statues. 
He wants to take a picture of himself with Master Wu in the background, the statue of Master Wu. Uh, a little higher, is everybody in? Oh no! You can't be hanging off there. You need to hop off now, thanks very much. And we'll meet the next minifigure. Oh, this is one of the bad guys, or bad girls. <laughs> Look at that cranky face with a scar. Big angry eyebrows and a frowny face, but I forgot to put on... There we go, on the, on the air tanks. <laughs> He's an octopus! He's the shark army octopus! That is the most hilarious rubbery headpiece. It looks like the octopus is trying to eat him. <laughs> He's running around. And he um, comes with a fish. I don't know whether that's a weapon or whether it's something for him to chew on when he gets hungry. And he also comes with a stud shooter. So <laughs> I don't know what the fish is for, but it comes with a couple of extra studs too. Let's try it out on Shark Army Octopus. It works really well. <laughs> Excellent. Look at that rubbery headpiece. That is so hilarious. Right, Olivia would like to try it on. Let's see how this goes. Oh, her eyes barely even peep through there. Ah, ah look, an octopus is eating my head. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll whap it with my fish. Hmm. And now your head is stuck in the octopus. You just shouldn't go putting your head in octopuses, should you? All right, <laughs> let's put your proper hair back on and let's move everybody over. We might sit the octopus guy, the shark army octopus fellow over there and let's see who we've got. Now it's another shark army member. We've got another set of tanks, similar. Oh, this is a girl. Look at her scar on there. Blue eyeshadow. She's escaped from the eighties and she's an angler, she's an angler fish. Oh, that is so hilarious. Look at the swirly eyes. <laughs> and she's got a fish on a stick <laughs> as her weapon. No, it's got a mace on the end. So <laughs> she's going to wield this in battle. I don't know quite how that would work. Pretty sure the fish would be super slippery. That is hilarious. The shark army angler fish <laughs> to go with our shark army octopus guy. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, who's trying these headpieces on? Mia's going to try on the angler and Emma is going to try on the octopus. Let's see. Ah, oh, that actually does quite well. And the octopus is not going to look any less strange on Emma, but now they can <laughs> they can run around together. Woo! With their crazy, strange things that look like they've attacked and eaten their heads. So we'll take them off and we'll put them back where they belong. There we are. One angler fish, one octopus, and now we've got our next minifigure. Black pants, nice red markings down there. Okay, so it's going to be one of the ninjas. There we go, there's some, some armor plate. Now it's predominantly black and red. Very, very beaten up face there. Oh, there's Kai's hair. So it's Kai the Red Ninja, and he is in a complete kendo outfit. He even comes with a kendo helmet. Check that out. And he has got, he's got a couple of, a couple of uh, wooden stick things. What do you call those in kendo? I don't actually know. Oh, let's see, that one fell on the floor. So it's now covered in fluff. No, it's not anymore. So he can either wear his helmet or he can wear his awesome hair. Check that hair out. It's going to make, it's going to make Olivia look a little bit like, I don't know, like one of the Pokemon trainers or something like that. Who does she remind me of when she's got that hair on? I think it might be one of the one of the Pokemon trainers. I'm trying to think which one. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm going to have so much fun with these hair pieces. So many new hair pieces and new characters. Very, very, very cool. Okay, brown pants. Oh, they're... Okay, lovely printing on the front of this. It's a girl. Oh, orange lipstick. Let's see if the hair piece, oh, bright orange hair in a bun with some chopsticks through it. That's another cool hair piece. This is Masako. This is Lloyd's mum and Garmadon's ex-wife. And she comes with a handbag and she's obviously off to work. She's got her name tag printed on her. She's looking very smart, very stylish. And I'm going to pinch her hair and we're going to try it on Stephanie. Let's see. That is awesome hair. Oh my goodness. That is, that is supremely cool. I love that. All right, Masako, you can have that back. 
<laughs> we're going to move everybody over and we're going to find our next minifigure. Oh, very nice uh, brown pants. Oh, brown shirt. <laughs> oh, another double torso. This is another garment on. And look at his, look at his sunglasses and he's quite happy. He's in casual attire here. And he's got on, oh, look, he's, this must be before he became evil. This is, he looks like he's escaped from the 70s. And he, he also looks as though he might be a tourist because he's got a camera. Got a camera there <laughs> before he became evil. And he has also got a printed piece here, a picture of a volcano. Oh, home sweet home. First volcano with a white picket fence around it. So we've got two Garmadons so far. I don't know which one I prefer yet. There is a third one still to find. <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay, next up we've got, oh, I know who this is. It's Master Wu. So he's got a little skirt piece we need to put on. Oh, I can't get that on straight. It will just have to do for now. So that's nice. It, it really, um, it's, it extends his outfit downwards. He's got his beard and his typical Master Wu face, which you can't really see once you put the beard on, and his little hat. And he comes with something brand new. I have no idea why he comes with a box of cornflakes, but I'm just... I'm just hanging out to wait and see the movie and find out why. So maybe we'll replace our statue of Master Wu with the real Master Wu and his cornflakes. Or not. He doesn't look quite so regal up there in colour. So we'll put our statue of Master Wu back <laughs> and we'll see who we've got next. we got black pants and a rockers t-shirt. Oh, World Tour 1985 sold out. Uh, a very rock face and an, another new hair piece, fabulously tousled hair. This is Cole with his boombox. He is a diehard rocker, so that's what he needs and that's what he's got. And he looks great. Let's try his hair on Andrea. Oh, that looks fantastic. That's really cool. I'm, I'm loving these kind of short but longish and, and tousled hair pieces. They are really going to come in handy. Okay, you can have that back, Cole. <laughs> and we will find our next minifigure. Ooh, nice pants. Uh, okay, a general maybe, somebody very important. White gloves on, this is formal attire. Oh, look at this. It's a little webbed cape and there's a little webbed neck piece to go on the top. There, that looks fantastic. Oh, what a worried face. This is the Shark Army General, number one. And she's got a hairpiece that we can use too. She looks worried. She must be... Oh, and she comes with a pink milkshake. <laughs> That's so random. <laughs> oh my goodness, I wonder why. And I want to know why she looks so worried. Where is she going? What is going on? Oh! Okay, it would appear that Mia has stolen her hairpiece and all of her cool accompaniments and looks pretty good actually. But she looks so worried. Do you think you could give them back? <laughs> Not without a fight, obviously. So, yes, that's nice. So Mia, just you can give her back her pink milkshake. She looks as though she really, really needs it. So we'll put her over there and see who we've got next. Uh green so a green sweatshirt green eyes this is Lloyd Lloyd Garmadon of course and he comes with a brand new hood piece check it out how it just seems to attach well it seems to be attached to the back of his sweatshirt that's so cool but even more cool is he comes with yet another noodle bowl with a very classic you know, Asian emblem across it and he's got a spoon too so Look at that, two soup bowls, like father, like son. I wonder if they both sneak out for midnight snacks in two different places at the same time. That's so awesome. And let's see if this hood, yeah, you know what? If we put that with a cape, that would look really cool. That's so good. It makes, it turns the, the Lego Friends girls, it kind of makes them look, yeah, it makes them look anime, like little Japanese action figures. Oh, I'm going to have, I've got, I've got some ideas, I've got things we're going to do with that. Next one, we've got, this says Git on her, 
on her shirt. She's wearing a Batman shirt underneath her lab coat. And she's got big, very, very strong Coke bottle glasses and a long plait. She must work in, in Garmadon's offices, I think. That's what the G stands for. And she's got a laptop and the ubiquitous cup of coffee that you need to be able to stay awake while you're working. So two women in power will just leave them over there to have a chat about how difficult it can be to be a woman in the workplace and continue on with our next figure who... Ah! <laughs> He's got two faces. Let's use that one because it's more interesting. On oh, some of the cool hippie hair that we've seen before. This is the rocker and he comes with a brand new... A brand new colouring, or well not colouring, stop whapping that, a brand new patterning on his guitar. So that is very cool if I can just get it on properly. There. Gong and the Rocker is what he's called, no idea why. But we're going to steal his hair and we're going to put it on Emma because I think it will suit her pretty well. Check it out. Like it was made for her. Oh, that is awesome. All right, we'll give him his hair back because he looks pretty cranky without it. And we'll see who we've got next. <laughs> okay, black shoes, white outfit. Look at all the little prawns, the little shrimps all over his tunic here. Look at his mustache. This is the sushi chef. I'm so glad we found him. Look at him, he's so cool. <laughs> Look at his shirt. Just a fantastic print. And he comes with a brand new sushi print. So we already have a sushi, well, one type of sushi. Now we look looks like we've got some raw salmon sushi too. So that's very, very exciting to have yet another type of sushi to add to our sushi platters. Very good. And he comes with a cleaver, obviously for chopping the sushi. <laughs> He's cool. He's a nice minifigure to have. All right, let's move him over here and see who's next. Uh, oh my goodness, this one looks like another Shark Army general, but taken, certainly seen some action. What is printed on his shirt? Oh, very, very cranky, very, very angry eyebrows. And he's a shark. He's got a shark headpiece and it has been... Yeah, it's it's taken some damage. And he's got a black fish that flow that throws fire by the look of it. Throws flame. That's cool. We've got three members of the Shark Army, plus the Shark Army General. Though he might be a general too, I dunno. It will be interesting to see. We're not done yet. We've got oh, this is the one I've been waiting for. Because <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> she's got a, the, the most pastely colourful rainbows colors everywhere in a tutu and there's unikitty on the front and she's got pink hearts on the back she is so super duper girly she is the end pop girl look at the pink blush on her cheeks and she has got a uh, harley quinn's hair recolored into pastel like fairy floss pink and blue and she comes with a teddy a pink teddy looks like a care bear there is nothing about this that i don't like she just is going to skip around and be a fangirl and, and fall over and she's just fantastic and of course we need to try her hair on somebody so on Olivia it looks as though yeah it looks like Olivia has just escaped from some sort of Japanese fashion show <laughs> full of cutesiness so cute all right oh you teddy bear I might have to see if I can find more of these they're very very cute all right uh this is the this is the green ninja. This is Lloyd in his ninja outfit. And I've put his the bottom part of his hood upside down. This is cool. His hood comes in two pieces. There's even a little notch at the back so his headpiece can fit into it absolutely securely. And the set even comes just with his normal hair, so you can swap it over if you don't want him to be wearing all of his ninja headgear. Does he come with a weapon? Oh, he comes with some instructions. This is the blueprint quite literally blue print for the green mech dragon and he's got oh look at the tassel on his sword I've never seen that tassel before is it a new piece I don't know but it is absolutely fantastic and the end pop girl is very very excited to see him so he's just gonna stand over here away from all of her excitement and she's just purloined his real hair and I don't think she's gonna give that back <laughs> who's our next character let's see 
Oh, look, it's Garmadon in his traditional, very uh, angry Garmadon gear. A new hat. That's awesome. And he gets a weapon. He's knocked everybody over. Come on, just play nice for now. He gets a nice big staff here with some very dangerous looking attachments on the top. So three Garmadons, three very different Garmadons. <laughs> so that's a whole set. Check them out. There are so many cool features in amongst them. Even if you don't like the Ninjago series, there are some cool hair pieces here. So Jay's going to see if he can't uh, get a picture of everybody. Oh, how did that go? Uh, still just Jay in the picture. Looks like your camera might be malfunctioning. <laughs> oh well. They look fantastic. Which character was your favourite? Or which part of which character was your favourite? I uh, kind of am in love with that pink teddy bear. That is very cool. But there are so many pieces here that make me excited. I hope you enjoyed seeing the complete set of the Lego Ninjago movie minifigure series. Please make sure that you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Do leave me a comment. I read them. Even if I can't always answer, I do read them. And I will be back with a new video very, very soon.